blue one. Here you it's Little Thornton's first time picking blueberries, and it's also the first day of picking season for everyone at Golden Ridge Farm. I've been counting down for like two months. I was super excited about it. And on a beautiful summer day, what's there not to be excited about? Get a little sunshine, get a little fresh air, get to be on the beautiful farm. It's easy. Parents like to do it with kids. Uh, it's a great thing to bring the kids out to. And of course, they're going to eat a few berries, but that's okay. You got to test the product, you know, make sure it's good. So we don't have a problem with that. The farmer has been letting visitors take home baskets of handpicked berries for just a few bucks for more than 20 years now. And while the picking is easy, farmers like Renee Bergeron know that it takes a lot of hard work to get the crops ready before they can end up in your pies and muffins. April 1st, we have to prune the bushes. I've got a little over a thousand blueberry bushes. And so that takes, uh, you know, three or four weeks in the month of April. Fertilize, you know, twice a year, mid late April, and then six weeks after that. It takes a little time to put the netting up. But he says it's well worth the effort for all the ways the blueberries can be enjoyed. My sister in law makes an awesome blueberry pie. And do a blueberry puree with pancakes. Definitely blueberry crisp. Blueberry muffins run a close second, but pretty much any dessert made with blueberries. And when you pick from a wide range of bushes, you get a real variety of flavor. One from here might be sweet, and that one might be sour, but they're all delicious. We've got a great crop this year, and hopefully uh, we'll see a lot of blueberry pickers out here in the next uh, four to six weeks, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. In Perkinsville, Ross Ketchke, NBC5 News.